As a Beatle, John Lennon belonged to the world. I'm stepping out. Now, it's Lennon NYC, the intimate story of how he found himself. It's being John Lennon. John would often say, I should have been born in New York City. New York City. The greatest place on earth. When we first moved here, we actually lived in Greenwich Village, which is the sort of artsy-fartsy section of town, for those who don't know, where all the students and the would-bees live, you know? One of my biggest kicks is just going out to eat or going to movies, you know, and doing things I couldn't do when I was, you know, in the middle of the Beatles stuff. I'm just known enough to keep my ego floating, but unknown enough to get around, which is nice. Okay. I've been a follower of you for a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I think he needed that time. He had enough of what he did. Are you kidding? I mean, the whole world, he had to travel the whole world and, you know, all that bit. So he did it. He felt that, you know, well, he can retire and uh, be a nice daddy. And so Sean and I would spend this time together. And it was fantastic. Yeah, I looked after the baby and I made the bread and I was a house husband and I'm proud of it. He's one of the most incredible people I've ever met and one of the most vibrant, kindest, funny, every minute I ever spent with John, I treasure. Meet the John Lennon few new in Lennon, NYC. Just try it, okay?